What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cherry Johnson, and I am back in Mr. H-Town again doing a stage play called Love and Fire. It will be February 9th and February 10th at the Collin Performance Hall right at the University of Houston campus. Come out and check us out. We're going to have four shows, one's at 3 o'clock and one's at 8 p.m. February 9th and 10th, the Collin Performance Hall. And I got a special surprise. Mr. J. Anthony Brown is also in the play. Okay, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about my character in Love and Fire. I play the role of Hope. Hope is the best friend of Tiffany, who is a pastor's daughter. We were both raised in the church, and we've been best friends all of our lives. There's a little secret that we're holding, but I can't tell you what that secret is. But what I can tell you, Houston, you are about to see me in a way that you've never seen me before. Love and Fire, y'all. I'm about to bring the rest of the cast up so you can find me in the H. Actually, uh, do you want my real name or you want me? I want your stage name. I want you to tell me whatever name it is that you're going to want them to call you. Well, I am Sister Johnson. Um, and I am a very, very high profile woman. I have such great integrity and great morals. And all I can say is praise the Lord. If I haven't told y'all, this is a Christian play. And she is Sister Johnson. Can you tell us a little bit more about Sister Johnson, sweetheart? Well, Sister Johnson, she makes sure the church is running properly, financially. Hey, the money, all your ties go right on to Sister Johnson. And I hate to put you on the spot, but I was backstage um, Saturday night, and I, I came in like at the tail end of the play, and I hadn't heard this woman right here say, but I got goosebumps all through my body. Can you just give us one little bar? Just one, just a taste, please. They need to know. You still need to know that you're here, baby. There was an old lady sitting under a tree. It's enough. Hey. They called me over and she said to me, my days left here may not be long. So I ain't gonna waste this time telling you nothing wrong. You see, love is a flower, needs the sun and the rain. A little bit of pleasure is worth a whole lot of pain. If you learn the secret how to forgive, a longer and better life you'll live. No pain. Hey, you see what I'm talking about? Thank you, baby. And I am back. I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway because I don't really care. With my favorite cast member, Mr. Kedrick Brown. Mr. Kedrick, can you tell us a little bit, just a little bit? Because I tell you a lot. Yeah, don't tell us a lot. A little bit about the character that you're going to be playing. Oh, my God, man, what to say. Gerald Stokes is everything that is to be, everything that you've seen in the streets. And heard about Gerald is probably that. I am here with the handsome Mr. Andre Petrie. Hello, everyone. Can you tell us a little bit about the character that you play in Love and Fire? Well, I play Drake. He's a prospect, NBA prospect. So I'm a top basketball player. I may be going number one, you know, between one and five in the league. So I got skills. Okay. Missed, I have a beautiful lady this time, Miss Amber. Hey. Now, you are a Houston local, correct? Uh, no, I was actually born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, how long have you been here? Um, for about two years. Can you tell us just a little bit about your role? Mm, privileged girl, daughter of a prominent pastor. Um, she has two awesome best friends who don't always see eye to eye, but um, she loves them both very much. Um, it's a typical family lifestyle. But yeah, that's about it. It's, it's just what you, what you don't get to see. Oh, your mom went all out, huh? I know, right? I can't believe all this stuff. Look. My mom has it down to a science. Our kiss is even time. This is ridiculous. Wow, babe, you know you've been real moody lately. What's the matter? I don't know, it's just, it's not how I thought it would be. Well, you know our parents been planning this since we were kids? Yeah, I know. Well, look, I have an idea. Why don't we eat low? Do you want to see the light baby, of day? Baby, look, I don't think you understand how much I love and I Times when I knew you were gonna leave You end up coming right back Babe, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I know I done did some foolish things But you got me on the right track 
Babe, what are you trying to Just say? Listen, girl, you care for me. You were there for me. You love me unconditionally. You changed me. Believe in me. There's no doubt how I'm feeling, girl, cause I need you. I need you. Hey y'all, it's Cherry Johnson, and I am back with one of my my favorite. Her spirit, her heart, her soul is all right in her eyes. And she is playing the lovely Mama May. What's your name, baby? My name is Evangeline Gabriel Young, but you know you can call me Mama May. <laughs> I call her Mama May every day. No. Wallace. I'll get it. <laughs> hey, Hope, come on in. Oh, I didn't know Drake was here. Hey, Drake. What's up, Hope? Hey, Mama Man. Hey, baby. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Yes. No. Girl, you're not interrupting anything. Right, honey? Whatever. So, what's up? Girl, you ready for your big day? So, Hope, when you gonna tie tonight? When I find the right person. Well, the Bible say he who finds the wife finds it a good thing. Uh, I will find my own, thank you. Waiting for you Negroes to find anything is a feat. I know that's right. Well, I found my good thing, and I suggest you find yours. No, your parents, they found a good and thing. And what's that supposed to mean? Okay, you two can't be in the same room for five minutes without causing trouble? You're right. Enough for a play for the day. So I gotta run. Are we still on for tomorrow? I will meet you there, girl. I told you guys that I had a really special treat for you, and here she is, Miss Chanel Brown. You guys, Yay! I don't even think I need to give her resume, but come on, you guys, different world, Martin, my wife and kids. Yeah. Yes. I grew up with her, and I've loved her since I was about eight years old, and it is a pleasure and an honor to be directed, and she wrote it by Miss yes. Chanel. Isn't that incredible? Can you tell us how long the process was? You're not gonna believe this. It took me a week to write it. Woo! And I mean, this this play is no joke. Can you just give us a little, just a little tease? Okay, I'm gonna. It's really, and I'm sure everybody said it. It is really about two churches and a wedding, and wonderful things are happening, and we're dealing with one of the children being gay, and it's about unconditional love, about tolerance. We want people to leave here at least opening up to dialogue. If we've done that, we've done our job. Okay, now, I only told you guys half. She wrote it, she directed it. She's also our lead. <laughs> I just I just pulled her off the stage. I know she wants to kill me because I was about to rehearse my scene and <laughs> now we gotta do interviews. So can you tell me about the role that you play? I don't like her. I don't like my role. Martha is, um, she has an objective and she's sticking with it and she has a belief system that's stronger than anything that I can imagine. Well, personally, I love her. I think <laughs> she is the most powerful character in the play. And um, yeah, you guys just gotta come out and see come us because see you will be moved. Can you tell them how to find us? We're, um, I think our, our website is reallovefire.com and the tickets are 713 tickets. Please come out. You will not regret it. It's a wonderful cast, beautiful writing, beautiful everything. Come out and see us. It's Cullen Theater. I am Cherry Johnson and you are watching Find Me in the H. Bye. Bye.